Happy Tuesday morning, you guys, and welcome to another day in the life vlog. When the past, I'm in the future. You, you, you mad, they don't salute you. I need a bad. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Keila Trishan, and I make videos on lifestyle, insurance, and mental health. I also do vlogs. Dan Life in the insurance industry, Dan Life with a toddler, all the things. So if that's something that interests you, go on ahead and click that subscribe button below. Be sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything from me. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and thank you for your support. All right, so today is gonna be another like kind of day in the life. So I have an inspection today. Um, if you watched my last video that I filmed last week, I was sick and my voice was like essentially in and out. I, for the most part, have my voice back, but, you know, it still sounds a little raspy, but I'm pretty much, like, good to go. Um, so, anyway, today on the agenda is basically getting back on track. So, as you guys know, I've, I've told you guys in, like, the few, a few of the last videos that I've been behind because of the workload. And my manager actually has taken me off of claims for, like, a few days to give me a chance to, like, catch up and close some things out. So, it's really been a godsend. Like last week, I really needed it because I was actually sick. So I wouldn't have gone out to any inspections anyway because I didn't feel well. But it's it was good to like not even have to explain that, you know, because I was already like off of like active claims. This week, I'm still like off. I don't because I didn't get anything last week. This week is slow. So I have this one today and I don't really have another inspection plan for the rest of the week. This is like more of a reinspect. Also, it's not even my claim. It's just basically me going out to confirm the damages essentially and like make sure that the estimate is correct so it should be relatively easy but i did want to kind of talk to you guys about <laughs> internet trolls and um just what's been going on so if you are interested in the tea like what's been happening definitely go on ahead and stay tuned good. good thank you how are you Very good, good yeah got it <laughs> no, that that honestly makes sense. And I, and I did tell him because uh, he sent me a text message pretty much asking, like, if, if you guys could do additional work. And I told him that, you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, we can't just like tear down walls to find, you know, mold or water. Like if they have a reason to believe it's there, that's different. But yeah, no, if, if that's the uh, the thought process, then I'm OK with that. I have no problem telling him, like, hey, if this is something that you want to do, you would have to do it on your own. But we're not going to be able to pay for that. So. All right, so um, I've got a little bit of a rant and it's basically like about a comment that I got on my uh, video. It was like one of my uh, Dan the Life videos. And let me just start off by saying this. When I started YouTube, like I was fully aware of the fact that there are gonna be people that either don't agree, don't like, you know, don't appreciate the content, whatever. And I'm actually, I'm okay with that. Like I'm a grown woman, you know, you can't really hurt my feelings unless you are a personal friend family member, you know, whatever. So um, those type of things don't really get me like bent out of shape. But I can't lie and say that this comment didn't like irritate me because when I shot back, the person was trying to make it seem as if they were giving me like constructive criticism, but it wasn't constructive. Like they were just essentially being an asshole, which is fine. But like, don't try to make it seem like I can't take constructive criticism because I can, <laughs> but you're not being constructive and you don't know me. So uh, with all that out the way, basically this person commented, saying that like I clearly wasn't doing any work. They were like, you know, uh, you don't seem to be that stressed. You know, you're talking about how you're stressed out and this, that, and the third, but you're making yourself breakfast and you're sitting on your couch. Like it can't be that bad. She kind of said something to the extent like, you know, keep on working your claims. So I initially responded and I just said, oh, okay. <laughs> like, like, oh, you thought you ate, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what the f you're talking about. You clearly don't watch the content, like, because if you, if that's what you gathered from that video, <laughs> that was 30 minutes of curated content, then you just, you just don't know, you know? So I left it at that. But the next day, uh, somebody had responded back to her and basically was like, oh, like, you know, clearly you're not an adjuster. You know, I didn't say nothing, whatever. So the lady sh shoots back and pretty much is like, oh, I'm just giving my opinion. Da -da 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 -da. So that like irritated me. And here's the thing. Like normally I wouldn't give things like that the time of day, but I'm gonna be real with you, I had time. 
And I'm a human being at the end of the day too. So it's like when somebody's saying something that is clearly like some bullshit, um, I will shoot back. I do try to keep it PG, right? Because at the end of the day, this is a platform where I'm sharing information and I'm sharing like my experience, right? You don't have to agree with the experience or whatever, but this is my experience based on what I do. Also, it's important to understand that I create content. So if you're watching a 30 minute video, you're getting snippets of what I'm doing throughout the day. So she kind of like alluded to the fact that I'm on the clock. Correction, I'm not on the clock, I'm actually salary. And when I'm filming these videos, I'm typically taking a break or I'm doing like desk work, things where I can talk and like work at the same time like I'm doing now, hence the computer clicks that you hear in the background. So I basically just responded like, you know, like you're entitled to your opinion, you absolutely are. And here's my opinion. <laughs> and I pretty much told her like what I was thinking, like I'm allowed to take breaks, I'm allowed to eat, I'm allowed to do all that. So like pretty much like if you're gonna speak on something, make sure that you know what you're talking about because you don't. And she was like adamant that she didn't know what she was talking about. And oh, I've been doing insurance for five years. That's cool. Do you want a cookie? I've been doing it for seven. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'll say all that to say that um, I went back and forth more times than what I would like and what I would normally do. But I personally feel like some things like need to be addressed. Like don't get so, first of all, if you're that busy and if you're that disgusted or whatever, why are you taking the time to comment on the video? Just scroll past like you don't have to sit there and watch it but you came up with this whole thought process on me somebody you don't know <laughs> you know and decided to write a comment so that's the one thing about social media that I kind of hate people think that they know you based on the little things that you post on the internet it's crazy like there's so many things that I don't show and that I refuse to show because there's still this thing called privacy but at the end of the day I make these videos because it resonates with a lot of you especially if you do insurance or if you're looking to get into insurance, I like to do them in real time because the emotion that I'm emoting is real. You see, like if I'm stressed out because I got a certain amount of claims, like she had made a comment about like, you know, oh, you're complaining. Yeah, because I'm fucking overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm complaining. That doesn't mean I'm not grateful. That doesn't mean that I'm not doing my job, whatever. And it's like, you know, I, I try to find pockets of time to film these videos because again, I do feel like it can help somebody. Like I know it would have helped me if I was new um, to insurance and I just kind of wanted to see what I was getting into like to see somebody actually working their desk whether they're in the field or not you know see what they're doing and just kind of give me like a synopsis of what's going on um, it would have helped me and I know it helps some of you guys that's why I continue to do it so even if I'm stressed out like right now I'm not like overly stressed but sometimes when I do these videos I am overwhelmed and stressed out as hell but I feel like I owe it to you guys to give you the real because if you're coming to my channel to see what it's like in the day in the life you know, I feel like it's authentic of me to do it in real time. So with that being said, I pretty much like I stopped going back and forth, whatever, because the lady it's, it's one of those things where like you get to a point where you're like talking to a brick wall. Right. And I'm not about to keep going back and forth trying to prove my point to someone again who doesn't know me. You're essentially a stranger. So I just think that we got to be careful, like what we're putting out on social media. I try to be very positive on my channel. Like I don't welcome the negativity or anything like that. But that's not to say that you can't disagree with me or something. I just ask that you do it in a respectful way. And don't think that you are being constructive if you're coming to like say some bullshit. You know, if you're saying some bullshit, then you're gonna get called out for it, point blank in the period. But I don't have those issues a lot on my channel. I just noticed that as my channel is getting bigger, I'm starting to see more like negativity, you know, here and there. And I usually just, you know, I, I usually just let it go. But that particular comment like really irked me. I can't even lie. So. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to kind of get that out the way and let y'all know that I am working, <laughs> which I, I know I don't have to explain that. The real ones know, especially if you've been here and you've seen what I'm doing. And if you do this work, you know, I'm actually working. Even if I'm working from home, you know, I'm I'm on the phone. I'm, you know, talking to customers. I'm talking to vendors. I'm setting stuff up. Stuff is moving. But in those little pockets that I have to, you know, go like grab a bite to eat or step away from my computer, I'm able to film my video. So yeah, they just kind of irritated me. Again, a complete rant, not a huge deal. I'm sure that's not gonna be the last comment that I get, but I really wanted to address it because like, if I am gonna be honest, that really pissed me off. <laughs> you can call me a lot of things, but don't call me lazy. So <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a couple of things before I head out of here. I got like a couple hours before I gotta leave. Well, like an hour and a half actually, before I gotta leave. So I'm gonna do some work and then I'm gonna get back with you guys before I head out.
at you guys so i am actually on the way right now to my inspection as i was telling you earlier it's a re-inspection so it's not actually like my claim basically um a desk adjuster has it and they needed a field adjuster to go out to like confirm the damages and confirm the estimate that the insured provided also there is a there's a contractor that's involved so i actually forgot to print the freaking estimate anyway it's okay i have my little notepad so i can like make notes there but anyway so yeah i'm gonna go on ahead and just pretty much do that these are usually pretty easy it's just basically me coming to an agreement with the contractor on like what can be done what can't be done that kind of thing the customer says she can only meet for like 30 minutes so it's not going to be like a super long one thank god but i'll probably stop by a coffee shop to complete that note i don't know yet or i might just like head back to the other side because it's kind of on the other side of town and um if you live in socal that the um traffic can be a little tricky so i'm thinking it might like make more sense for me to just do the inspection and then come back to my house and complete you know the notes and stuff so we'll see but so i wanted to tell you guys something if you're an adjuster then you completely like know this whatever but so like if a customer doesn't have a contractor and this is specifically for property it's similar in auto too like if you don't have a body shop for example we can refer you a body shop but in property if you don't have a contractor we can refer you a contractor so a lot of times when we send the contractor out, you know, to do their inspection, they're like confirming the um, the scope that we have and they're, you know, letting us know if anything needs to be added, whatever. So when we send these contractors out, like sometimes people expect the estimate to be back to us within like a day or two. And it typically takes like three to five business days because they're not just dealing with our claim, they're dealing with other claims and then whatever other work they have, you know, that's outside of insurance. So, you know, it's like, I try to set realistic expectations, but people, you know still like they, they want stuff done when they want it so i had this one lady and the thing is she's nice she's just like um she's never been through a claim before so i'm like essentially educating her on like how things work but it's funny because she's like hey so do you have the estimate yet and i'm like no it's only been like a couple of days like i have a diary to follow up but once i get it like i'll let you know and people don't realize that once i get it i'm gonna let you know um so i'm just looking at my navigation but yeah, like once I get it and once I've had a chance to review it, I will, you know, pay you and all that good stuff so you don't have to keep reaching out to me. But I get it, you know, you want to get your repair started, whatever. So the lady, she starts going into how it's tough to book contractors right now. Everybody's so busy and you have to wait a couple of weeks, this, that, and the third. And it's like, we know all of this, but like, I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you still got to wait. Like, it, it just kind of is what it is. <laughs> so I told her, like, I'm aware of like all of the delays and stuff like that and you know just right now it is a tricky time for contractors like uh materials are delayed and all that stuff but that's not something i can help like you just you have to wait like you just have to wait people think that because it's our vendor we can strong arm them and it's like no like they are their own company we're our own company Hazard report. just like when they send us the estimate i'm gonna need like a day or two to review it i try to review it that same day like if i get it in the morning i have it reviewed by the end of the day if i get it at the end of the day then i'll review it by the next day but then sometimes that'll happen where the customer will call the contractor and they're like oh well they said they sent it to you yeah they sent it to me like five minutes ago i need time to go through it <laughs> like you just have to wait you know i feel like a lot of it is just kind of you know people just don't have patience whatever which it's like one of those things like i empathize obviously because you know this is your home so you're trying to get your home fixed but unfortunately like we can't just drop everything we're doing to like review and all that stuff and then you know once i'm putting my name on it saying that it's good to go and that i'm paying it like you know if my file gets audited and things are off you know i'm the one who gets in trouble so but yeah um again it's just one of those things you just deal with in insurance like everybody wants things done right now people think that their claim is the only claim you're working on you know it's just i feel like for me in my experience it's all about how you explain it like I let people know they're a priority and like I make sure I give you a time frame. So I'm not gonna just tell you like I'm gonna get to it when I get to it. I'm gonna tell you like, hey, I'm gonna need like, you know, three business days to go over it, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you that I need like three business days to go through it. I'm gonna like keep it realistic so you know, but you're not about to rush me because I need to have time to like really go through it and make sure that everything looks good before I sign on the dotted line and say, hey, this is good to go and pay you. So yeah, it's just, you know, it's just a gesture why. But anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and drive and then I will talk to you guys after I get done with this inspection. All right, so um, I just got out of that inspection that I was telling you guys about. It was actually really a small claim. Like it was kind of weird that I even got called out to it. I thought it was like way more. Actually, no, it is like a little bit bigger claim, but just because it's like, um, 
continue with flooring. But anyway, so the lady was like really, really nice. And, um, you know, she was just talking about her frustration with like, you know, the change in adjusters and all that. And I guess the adjuster that she had previously was like non responsive and all that, whatever. So she was like just really happy that like I came through when I said I was. I was pretty nervous because <laughs> I was running late. Like, you know how like your navigation updates as you're like driving, whatever. So I thought I had time, like my uh, inspection time was 11 o'clock. So I was thinking like, oh, I'm good to go. You know, I'm gonna get there like right at 11 um, with like five minutes to spare. I think it said like 10.55, but I should have allowed for like a 15 minute buffer because the traffic was like insane. So I was like stuck on the freeway, just like literally inching forward. And I'm like, oh my God. So I was like eight minutes late. I was so scared that she was gonna be like angry and she wasn't, <laughs> she was actually very nice, but she was mad at the contractor because the contractor was supposed to meet us there. Um, so they, you know, hadn't met us there or whatever. And they said they were gonna come later on today. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So it, it worked out. It was mostly just me kind of like looking at the damage in our home and then just like giving her next steps. And I was like, you know, give me to like Friday to, you know, finalize everything, let your adjuster know all that good stuff. So, yawns. But now I'm starving. All I had today was a pear and I had a piece of cheese, like a cheese stick. This thing will not stay up. I had a cheese stick and some dried chickpeas. Random ass meal, I know. It wasn't even a meal, it was just like, I was just snacking in the morning. And then I had obviously my coffee and water. So I need to stop and get me something to eat. So it's, it's looking like a drive through day. So that's what I'm gonna get. Uh, not that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go through a drive through I just don't know where yet. Uh, something on the way home, probably Chick-fil-A, we don't know, but yeah. Anyway, I will talk to you guys when I get home. So, I just got back from In-N-Out. I'm about to start this food down real quick before I finish my note. <clears throat> so basically, I need to just put in like my coverage note um, for that customer who I just inspected. You know, put in like what, I, well not coverage note because she already has coverage, but I just need to put in like what I saw when I went to go inspect. Uh, kind of the next steps, things like that. And then just like work on the rest of my desk. Uh, it looks like I just got a new claim a little bit ago. It's a reassignment. So, you know, basically reassign somebody else. I don't know if the adjuster is not in the department anymore or what, but I'll find out shortly, child. So anyway, I am going to, first of all, eat this food. And then I will check back with you guys in a little bit, like once I kind of get everything set up. Well, hello there. Happy Wednesday. So as y'all know, I typically have trouble coming back like that first day. I don't know what that is. Like for some reason, it's like the universe knows I'm vlogging or something, but <laughs> nah. Um, so yesterday was unique because I told you guys, like if you've been watching the vlog, like there have been a couple times where my son has been sick. So this was one of those times, like ever since he started daycare, he's gotten like two or three colds. So he had like a little fever the day before and we had to just kind of monitor him give him like the children's towel and all stuff like that so he's feeling much better but with that he was at his nana's house while i went to my inspection and then when i got home um, i went up to go check on him and he was still kind of like not feeling that well so he ended up coming back home with me so i was monitoring him and all that and um i didn't really get much work done like that i wanted to get done um, I did like, it was kind of one of those days where I just did what I could, but he needed my attention more than the job. So that was pretty much that. It wasn't really much else to show, honestly, just, you know, me taking care of him. So that was essentially what was going on. This morning, he's back with his Nana. He's feeling much better. He does not have a fever, still has like a little bit of a cough, but um, he seems to be on the up and up. So he may or may not go to school tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, so uh, today... I am pretty much just like addressing emails. So I had a couple of emails I wasn't able to get to yesterday. So I'm going to address some of those. And then I have a couple of estimates that I need to review. There are some referrals that I that we sent to our vendor that assist with like contractor estimates that I haven't gotten back yet. And the customers are getting antsy. So my hope is to get those taken care of like between today and tomorrow because these people are on me. 
you know, asking about just pretty much when is the dollar amount going to be ready? When is the estimate going to be ready? And it's kind of like, I talked about this a little bit yesterday on the car ride back, but it's like, I'm rocking a hard place. You know, like I give people the time frame, which is typically like three to five business days. Sometimes it might go a little bit over. Uh, we just never know. It kind of depends on their workload. And because they work independently from us, I can't like really force them. All I can do is really just ask for updates. So that's what I'm going through right now. Looks like I got one back in. So I'm trying to actually get this lady taken care of because this is a claim from freaking January. January. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to go on ahead and, um, you know, just work that out and yeah, work on some other stuff. I have two calls, one call for sure that I need to do like around 1030. I thought I was having my uh, weekly meeting today, but it's actually tomorrow. So that call will take place around 1030. And then there's another gentleman that I need to call. He wanted to talk last week, but my voice was like super tricky. So I told him we could talk this week, but it's not like a huge deal. I just want to get it out the way. So it's not like lingering over my head, you know, that I got to call this guy. So yeah, uh, today is going to pretty much be like a desk day. I don't have any inspections today. I do have an inspection tomorrow. So I'll be checking in with you guys periodically to let you know like what's going on throughout the day and like what projects I'm working on. Right. No, no, I, I completely understand. If it's your first claim, I mean, especially with homeowner claims, there's a lot of moving pieces. So um, like if any questions come up or whatever, like feel free to reach out to me and I'm more than happy to like explain in detail kind of like why it works that way, how it works and all that stuff. Um, that, that, that's not a problem for me. Hey, you guys. So it's been a couple of hours. I had some phone calls, one of them, which you guys saw. I was training an employee on like uh, how to review a supplement. I was reviewing a supplement of my own. And then I had a couple of claims where I just needed to kind of like set up some vendors and stuff like that. So just kind of in the process of doing all that, but I'm starving at this point. Um, I did have like a little small breakfast. I had like some oatmeal and coffee, but that has completely burned through me. So I need something else. So I'm about to go see what I have inside of here to make like an early lunch, I guess. I might order something, but I need something like now. So I'm gonna need to find at least a snack. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Just wanted to check in and tell y'all I haven't forgot about you. You know, it was just a lot happening. Okay, KK, okay, okay. so I am back for a little bit. Okay, so basically I uh, told you guys that I've had like a bunch of work. <laughs> like I've had a pretty crazy workload for like the past couple of months. Um, so my manager actually went into some files that I haven't been able to get to and just gave me some direction, like claims where I was waiting to get documents from customers that I haven't gotten yet. Like basically things that I need to actually close a claim that I haven't gotten. He's like, just going ahead, send them a partial denial. That plane is not letting me be great, but he's like, go on ahead and just send them a, like a partial denial. Let them know that, um, you know, if their vendor sends different information in the future, you can go on ahead and review it at that point, but it's no point in leaving the claim open to just essentially wait. So. Uh, I went on ahead and prepared two letters like that because I have like two situations where I've reached out to the customer's vendors and I haven't gotten a response back. So got those taken care of. So that's like two claims off of my desk for the time being. We have uh, one customer, um, I had actually filmed that earlier. They have some personal property that was damaged by uh, toilet water. Kind of nasty. But pretty much they need to know if these items are salvageable or if they are items that need to be replaced. So we send out vendors to go and take a look to see, like depending on the material of the item, like if it's a couch or something where like the fabric was touched by like uh, contaminated water, then we would just replace that. But like if it's something that has like a, a surface that's not porous, that's something that we might be able to fix as opposed to replacing. So um, I went on ahead and set that up for them. So that vendor is going to reach out to that customer within like a couple of days. Then I had another customer uh, that had like kind of a one-off situation. He's in a hotel and like he's having to spend money on laundry because he's not home uh, to use his washer and dryer. He 
has to drive a little bit further like for his job because like he basically works from home but he can't use his facilities at home because um it's just not livable so there's like a mileage situation that he was asking me about and then uh something with his meals so he has a few little things going on so i was just kind of giving him some direction on that like how we can reimburse him for anything over his usual expenses and there are a couple things that i just honestly didn't have the answer to like the mileage so i'm going to be talking to my manager in about 10 minutes uh, we have a one-on-one -on -one, like every other week where we just kind of discuss like different claims. We discuss like development, all that stuff. So I usually will save my information for these one-on-ones or like he does have a uh, like a time set aside every day where we can ask questions but i figured since we have our one-on-one -on -one, i'll just ask him here so yeah that's basically what's going on at this point um i've made some headway today so i've been able to get a couple of claims closed and been able to just kind of like talk to people get them going and you know keep them at bay for the time being so i'm gonna just be working on some more things uh our meeting is one hour uh right now it's uh 150 our meeting is from two to three so yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna go on ahead, like I said, talk to him, get some things answered, and hopefully I can get those claims moving that I have questions on. And after that, it'll be kind of like me wrapping up like everything for the rest of the day because I don't plan on working extremely late today. So I'll be back to kind of let you guys know what happens during the call and all that stuff. And yeah, yeah. All right, so I wanna give you guys a quick update. So I uh, had a meeting with my manager and it actually went really, really well. So. I typically use those meetings to like go over different claims that I'm having like coverage decision issues on or just kind of things where I need like a second pair of eyes to make sure that I'm seeing what I'm thinking I'm seeing that kind of thing. And then also we talked about some training that I'm going to be doing. So I think I mentioned to you guys prior uh, in different videos that I am considering going into like more of a training type role. Uh, I've also been looking at like SIU and um underwriting like just different things to like essentially not be customer facing um so i do have a really good opportunity uh that's coming up uh, in a few weeks where i'm going to have a new employee that i'm going to be training on like our system and stuff like that uh she comes with experience so she knows claims but she just kind of needs uh some assistance as far as like how we do things how we document our files and stuff like that and like our guidelines so it's going to be pretty cool. She actually is going to, um, she's going to shadow me and then I'm going to basically assist her like in the field. So this is cool because it'll give me an opportunity to see if training is something that I actually want to do full time. And it will also get me off of claims for a little bit. So the good thing about this is that while I'm training, I won't be getting my own new claims because I'm going to be helping her with her new claims. So that's something to look forward to. Basically, my manager was just saying that like, it's really good because it's, uh, kind of coming up upon like the end of the year, uh, which is crazy to even say, but it will look good as far as like the review. Like I can say, you know, I've done this, this and this, and I've been training that kind of thing. So I'm pretty excited if I'm going to be completely honest with you. And he was able to like kind of answer my questions, my reservations and stuff like that. So all in all, everything went well. It's pretty late. It's like five right now. I've just been on the phone and uh, just trying to get some things closed up. So right now, I just uh, left a message for a customer. Just want to see if they're wanting to move forward with the abatement in their home. They uh, don't speak much English. So I called the daughter to see if I can, you know, to kind of talk to her and just left her a voicemail. So I'm waiting for her to call me back. And I'm going to pay up a couple of items that I got um, some feedback on. So I'm going to try to get those closed up before I completely log off for the day. I'm about 30 minutes over what I would normally be working but it's okay because again, I'm like closing up some stuff. I feel like I'm actually making some headway today. So yeah, I just wanted to close the vlog out and let you guys know what was going on. Definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comments, uh, if you have any you know, feedback, anything like that. I'm definitely open to feedback. As I said before, as long as you're respectful, you know, I'm all open to feedback. Uh, but basically this is just kind of me showing you like what happens in the day in the life, like some days, are eventful and some days are uneventful. So um, you saw yesterday I did have an inspection. Today I didn't have any inspections, but I'll be back out tomorrow. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. So again, if you guys have questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Definitely subscribe if you made it this far and have not subscribed yet. Make sure to give me a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And with that being said, you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time. You, you, you mad, they don't salute you. I need a bag, size is super.
turned your back. It's like I never knew you leave that. 